Hello YouTube, and welcome to Matt's House of Horrors. I was going to make a video, because I'm waiting, because my uncle might give me a GoPro, and I might use that to make vlogs instead of my tablet, because I, GoPros, they have better, you know, they have better camera angle, and the picture comes out great and everything, so I was going to wait to make more videos and reviews till then, but I felt like the thing I wanted to say should be said now. Okay. Um, as a horror fan, uh, okay, as a hardcore horror fan, you know, I read websites, horror websites. One of my favorites is Dead, not Dead, <laughs> sorry. One of my favorites is DreadCentral.com. And I'm actually subscribed to their box of Dread, and I get one every month. And they make amazing articles and everything, and, you know. And then I also read, once in a while, I read BloodyDisgusting.com. I'm even subscribed to their YouTube page. So, um, and another one which we're going to talk about today is called Blumhouse.com. If you heard about, if you heard of Blumhouse, that's because they, they are a horror movie company they produce horror movies like the purge and purge paranormal activity and all three insidious movies of course purge anarchy just the names some of the ones they're famous for so you know um when blumhouse.com started they were talking about their movies and like giving you you know trailers stuff like a normal movie website like universal studio studio movies which is universalmovies.com, they do that and stuff like that. So, when Dread Central made an article talking about um, that they are going to change their website into, like, horror stuff like Dread Central, almost like Dread Central, horror stories and stuff, and, like, have sections, which will be, like, film, TV, and real-life scares. Like, in film, it would be, like, the top ten scariest movies or something, and TV would be the top ten... You know, scariest horror shows. And real life scares would be like... Re stories that are supposedly real. And like real life accounts of things. And, and you know, stuff like that. So... Um... So I, of course, clicked the link. This is how I got to know the new Blumhouse. I clicked the link in Dread Central. Because they provided a link to the new one. I clicked it and... I thought it was very fascinating because I read mostly every article they had uploaded since that, the Dread Central article. And it was really good. So I kept, I made a daily thing to check, like, on them and everything, to check, uh, see what, what's new and stuff. Like, like I do with Dread Central, I do, I just check up, see what's new every day. So, um, of course, today I was checking up and I found an article that I thought was cool. It was, it was something about a video called the top five unsolved and mysterious creatures caught on camera. So, um, let me just give you a little backstory and stuff. If you go, there are websites like Blumhouse, Android Central. If you like, find the author. Like, they usually have like it says posted by someone somewhat so you like see that and you know and you read lots of articles written by them and you know that you like their articles and stuff you're gonna read them and you're gonna read let me adjust the camera okay you're gonna read their articles like in blumhouse there's a guy i don't remember his last name his first name started with rob who I read his articles because I like his writing. So when I saw that this article was written by him, I was like, okay, I'm going to read this. Because I read his one about the top uh, video called the Top 10 Haunted Dolls Calling Camera. So I thought it was really interesting. I didn't watch the video. I'm planning to do that someday. But um, So, of course, I saw this. And he gives... So they are not going to show the article. First of all... Well, actually, not even first of all. It's just because I don't want to get copyrighted. And uh, I'm not going to put a link in, a vid in the description for the article. Because, another, again, I don't want to get copy copyrighted. So, you know, I was just like, 
Okay, so he's giving like a little summary about what. Okay, oh, he's giving a little summary about why um he like why why he wrote he write, wrote an article for the hot doll thing and like he was talking about how he stumbled upon these videos and stuff. And then here's what we're gonna talk about. And yeah, I'm a little nervous about this because I never really criticized anybody before well, at least on a video. So this is my first time. Here we go. Then he started to say his opinion and he started saying this. <sighs> okay, I watched the video and there's only, there's some of them that I do agree with his opinion on. Yes, they they did look goofy and ridiculous. Then there are some that look really realistic. But this is what he said. The entire video was goofy and ridiculous. And ridiculous and he was saying that none of these can be real and everything. And I was just, and I was just like, dude, how the hell do you know? How do you know? Because you don't know. I mean, you can't you can assume all you want, but you'll never know unless you try to prove it. Um, I mean, like, there's a lot of scientists, even though I kind of lost hope in scientists over the last years. There's a lot of them that actually bl can't even solve some of these creatures and their sightings and everything. They can't solve them. No matter, because they get proof and everything, they can't solve it. So, that means... That they there's a possibility these things could be real, you know, and then also, you know, you're are you a scientist? You don't look like a scientist. So are you really a are you a scientist or are you a normal person who doesn't know or had not has not had a sighting or anything? Um, mostly I'm mostly criticizing the way he wrote his opinion because I know. At least I'm hoping, you know, he would have said, this is my opinion, and that's what he's thinking. But, this is the way you wrote it. You just wrote it like, you know, oh, I know, because I'm the voice of the people, and I know that everybody doesn't believe in these things, and like, how, and it's like, how you know, and everything. Okay, not gonna diss... Right now, I'm going to talk about another thing that's probably going to make people talk. Um, I'm not going to diss all of them. It's only this, only some of them. You're kind of, you sound like an atheist. Not every atheist, because there's some atheists that say, I don't believe in God, but that's my opinion. You can believe in whatever you want. But then there are atheists, which you sound like, which are like, oh, we don't believe in God. God's not real. We don't, we have proof. We're not going to show this proof because it's, it's not real proof, but it's it's proof to us and stuff. And like I'm the I'm the voice of the people. Everybody should not believe in God and something like that. And you know, and those people are usually the ones that don't have friends. Um. So you know, I was like, dude. So, I wasn't really going to talk about this article. This article kind of made me realize the true topic we're going to talk about in this vlog. Blumhouse is actually starting to go downhill ever since the first day it came on the internet. See, Blumhouse, or Blumhouse.com, I mean, um, they're not really based on the movie per company. I mean, they are, but... They don't work for it. I mean, that, that we know of. Um, there is a good staff of writers. And like and like I said in the beginning of this video, when I stumbled upon Blumhouse because of Dread Central, I read all their articles, and I was like, this is amazing. I, I like this website. It's so cool because I actually witnessed a horror website in the making, and it was so cool. It felt so awesome. And then, you know, years started going by, and I was like, this is cool, and everything. And then, late 2015, like, December 2015 rolled around. And then, like, after December, you know, 
It's like December was the last month of cool things. At least, I mean, in my the in my opinion, it was. Um. So whenever January rolled around, I started in again. This is my opinion. I started to witness that they, their articles started becoming so bad, like. Um, like, they're just becoming unlikable now. Like, they're just like, all, like, oh, this movie sucked and everybody should hate it. Or, or this, oh, this thing's not real and everybody should not believe in it and stuff like that. They started doing, they started doing that. And I was like, why? I mean, you're such a great website in 2015. You're going to start the new year by being these, these pieces of crap or something? Like, Why? Oh yeah, and you want to know something else? I look at Dread Central, and they have a comment section on every article. Like, you, you're allowed to write a comment. And there's a lot of other horror websites like Dread Central and Blumhouse.com that have a comment section that you can write your comments. Like, in like, oh, you say like, I don't know, like I don't believe this or cool list or like. Even though they'll tell you what you're doing wrong. That's actually what a comment section is good for. Even if you get hate comments. They're literally, they're literally telling you what you're doing wrong. Even if it's a hateful way. They're literally telling you what they're, you're doing wrong. Why? Like if you're if you're writing something. And they're like a oh, dude. You sound like a jerk or something. They usually tell you that you're writing. What you, how you're writing is literally. You know. You're writing like you're a piece, a piece of crap, and when you might not be, and you might not try to write like that. Blumhouse does not have a comment section. I don't know what that tells you. Um, it really doesn't tell me much. Sometimes it's gonna sound mean. It's gonna really sound mean, but um, I'm not trying. I'm not trying that hard to be mean. I mean that I whatever. Um. Sometimes I kind of think Blumhouse is scared to get comments, and like they're like, because they're just me. This might not be the reason, and I know someone. If you're, if there was someone watching, there'd be there'd be somebody in the comments that'd be like, "Oh, um, you know, that might that's not the case or something." And I know it might not be, but this is it's just what I what I think. Okay, so this you know just what I think. They're kind of a little scared to get a comment. Probably fearing it's going to be a bad comment. We all have that. Every YouTuber and everyone on the internet is afraid of getting a bad comment. But then you get one, you know, you might be um, either offended or you might, you might be like shocked. But then you get over it. And then if you keep getting more, you're just going to be like, oh, eh, they're just nuts. You know, they're, you know, there's pro, you know. Like you, you're never gonna escape that hate comments. So, um, you know, my here's my another one of my opinions. You should, you guys should really install a comment section, cause that, cause even hate comments can tell you what you're doing wrong. You know, there might be a lot of believers in that in creatures, like a lot of those who believe in the creatures in that video. You might want a comment telling you that you shouldn't sound like that. You should. At least try to at least say state that this is your opinion and you're not trying to be like like um I guess you can say Ron Tomatoes and say that I'm the voice of the people. Even though somebody kinda told me that Ron Tomatoes isn't the one whatever. Be you should not be like the fans of Ron Tomatoes and be like and stop being like you know I'm the voice of the people and stuff. So you shouldn't do that because it's not good. I mean Yes, some people are going to be like, oh, oh, that's cool. I mean, there's a lot of people who do that, but you can tell by their writing that they're, they're just trying to be funny because, you know, it it's funny sometimes. Then there's a lot of people like you who write it and, like, just, like, you can tell by your by your writing that it's just, you're just serious and, like, you know, you're going to be, a, and that's kind of being a jerk. You know, you're kind of making fun of it. You know, you did say horror fans love to believe in this. You know, even though you said something like that, it's still, like, 
it's still very dumb and I would like to say mean that you just say, oh, it's just ridiculous and stuff. Almost like you're, and again, if you guys want to comment saying that he, it's not what he's trying to do, go ahead. But it's my opinion right now. Almost like you're trying to say that everybody who believes in this is a child or something and then, and that they stop wasting their time because you don't want to say stuff like that. You can't mean, in, unless you want to be forever known as the the one who dissed a giant fandom and that that could make you get a lot of hate and everything. So, yeah. But, <clears throat> okay, so, this is the way the internet works, apparently. Um, you know, since he does, now he's going to stumble upon YouTube... At least I'm gonna try not to allow him to do this without my permission. Um, I know I have a feeling he's gonna probably watch this. You'll watch this. He's gonna write an article about me and how I'm over exaggerating and everything. And dude, you know I'm only telling you my opinion. You should just if you're gonna write something that's gonna mostly mean that you should at least try to write. It Less like a jerk and more like a gentleman and say like, you know, I think that this is ridiculous and ridiculous and goofy, but this is just my opinion. You guys can believe in whatever you guys want to instead of saying this is just ridiculous and goofy and this is not real and never be real and stuff like that. That's mostly the state kind of the statement of this video, but I decided that, you know, this kind of opened my eyes that Blumhouse is falling, and we can't deny that. So, uh, I'm gonna. So I'm just gonna end it like this. Um, if you're gonna write an article talk about something like this, and you know there isn't, if you don't know, there's an entire science dedicated to this called cryptozoology. If you don't know that, and you don't want to try to offend people, like you're gonna say. Like, this is goofy and ridiculous. Say it like this. I believe this is goofy and ridiculous, and... But this is my... Just my opinion. I don't believe in this, but you guys can believe in what you guys want to. Okay? So, there we go. Um, so, please like this video, and please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time in the shadows. Goodbye.